but I'll hear you on your motion. Your Honor, what um, essentially what Commonwealth was seeking and had been seeking was just in reference to that as far as who did what and who was responsible for what and what were the items reviewed and is that the totality of it? Um, there's a date on the report. I don't know if that was a date as far as when it was filed, when it was uh, opinion was rendered, when that was provided, uh, what was provided to them in, in the course of their analysis. Um, so I, I think very simply what the Commonwealth had been seeking for the most part was, was covered today. Okay. All right, I have some questions as to the scope of the testimony of the witnesses. Um, so, Mr. Jackson, you intend to have them testify consistently with the report, everything covered in the report? Correct. And the conclusions, all four conclusions in the report? Correct. Right, Mr. Lally, what's your, what's your take on this? I do have an issue with number four. I, I don't. I don't think they're qualified to testify to. I don't think either of them is qualified to testify to that. That's more of an area of forensic pathology. What do you say to that, Mr. Jackson? Number four is their opinion is there is currently insufficient evidence to determine the cause of Mr. O'Keefe's skull or brain injuries or the circumstances surrounding the event. That is well within the scope of their expertise. Obviously, uh, I don't think I have to beat this dead horse. They, they are highly, highly qualified to render all four opinions. And if the evidence in their opinion, their expert opinion, to a reasonable degree of scientific certainty, which is what's evidenced here by the report, is that there is insufficient evidence to determine the cause of Mr. O'Keefe's injuries, uh, then that is a, um, an opinion that they are well within their, their it's well within the scope what they can testify to. Uh, that's their opinion, that's their conclusion. Uh, Mr. Lally is going to have an expert, uh, Trooper Paul, who is going to um, differ, or who has differed in that opinion, so be it. And I would have kept it out. Remember, I, I would have kept out any medical part had there been an objection, and when you objected, I sustained the objection. I, I, I think we're talking about two different things, apples and oranges. I, I didn't, that's not, Trooper Paul's opinion is that his injury or his injuries or I think he said variously that it was blunt force that could have come from the curb or it was blunt force because the road is blunt. Uh, that was his opinion and, and he was sticking to it. This is contrary to that. Both of these individuals have come to the conclusion and opinion that the evidence is insufficient to support that determination uh, and it's, it's well within their purview to, to testify to that. Your Honor, if I may, I don't think that's their actual opinion. Um, <clears throat> I, I initially didn't think of it in these terms as it's phrased uh, on the cover page of the report. If you look at the actual opinion I was and looking findings, at the last page. Are they the same on the front and the back? It's, I think the, the front is a little more definitive and concerning. The, the back, I think, more as to it's consistent with a whole multitude of different things. Uh, so the fact that they... I don't really think that's an opinion at all, to be honest with you. All right, I'll take a look at this more closely, give you a decision Thursday. All right, I did not expect it to go this quickly. We could have had the jury here, but I'm sure you all could use the afternoon to prepare. All right, Mr. Lally, let me know Thursday if you need, are you ready to go forward at least with your case on Thursday? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Let me know Thursday if you need additional time. Um, if I let these witnesses, if I let Dr. Russell testify, uh, how that impacts our schedule. Absolutely. Okay? All right, but I don't want that to be a concern of yours, how it impacts the schedule. That's my concern, I just need to know. All right, so anything else? Not for the comma. I think that's it, thank you. Okay, we'll see you Thursday morning.